You want to know what's crackalacking? We're here in Costa Mesa at the Crack Shack. Let's give it a shot. Crack Shack was opened in 2015 by Richard Blaze, who was a winner of American's Top Chef All-Stars. Uh, in November of 2015, he opened this store in Costa Mesa. This is the second store of the Crack Shack. It used to be a Chase Bank, so they modified the Chase Bank building to create the Crack Shack. Now we're here. Uh, a couple of years ago, Thrillist named this as the best chicken restaurant in the country. So we figure we got to come and we got to try it. A senior croak. Let's get an order of biscuits and an order of shack fries. So Young got the Firebird because she likes spicy, and that's essentially their version of Nashville hot chicken. I got the senior croak because that's one of the most popular sandwiches here, so I wanted to try it. We got the biscuits because they look good, and we want biscuits, and we got shack fries, so that'll be good. And they gave us cups for sauces here because they have lots and lots of sauces. So we're going to go and try some of them. An area where you can choose your own sauces. They have about five or six different sauces. They have a ranch, they have a, a chipotle barbecue sauce, they have a uh, sriracha Thousand Island, they have ketchup and I forget what else. But anyway, we got, oh yeah, pineapple, pineapple mustard and sriracha Thousand Island and Chipotle barbecue. And also we got their pepper queen hot sauce. Burn up the bottom. Austin, we've been craving chicken and biscuits, so we decided to come here and try it. Now this is their biscuits with miso maple butter. Let's see what that's like. Biscuits are relatively soft. They're good, but I still miss Austin. I'm gonna try this uh, fire burger. Okay. Fire burger, their version of Nashville's hot chicken. It's got a little spice, it's not particularly spicy. The flavor's not bad. I wouldn't say it's over the top amazing, but it's not bad. I like it. Don't love it, but I like it. It's good. This is their most popular sandwich, the Senor Pro. As you can see, it's got egg yolk coming out everywhere. This is basically their adaptation of the French Croque Madame sandwich, except it's got a chicken breast in it. It's got bacon, egg, chicken breast, very gooey. Let's try it. That's very tasty. Again, raises the question which came first? The chicken, the egg, or the bacon? Or all three of them. Pretty good. It's almost like hamburger looking, huh? Don't. Nothing like a hamburger. Nothing like hamburger. But it is very gooey. Gooey, gooey, rich and chewy. <laughs> so the verdict here is, it's not Texas, it's not Nashville, but it's not bad. So generally, 
if you're in Orange County and you're craving a fried chicken sandwich and some biscuits, this is as good a place as any to come. I don't know if there's any better in Orange County. So definitely it's worth coming for that reason. Of course, it might be better to travel to Texas or Tennessee or someplace where they know how to do fried chicken and they do it right. But here, they do it pretty good. So, you know, I, I don't feel gypped at all. I feel like this was a worthwhile experience and I'd probably come back here if I was in the mood for some more fried chicken later on.